Hey, what's up everybody? So, we are getting back at it today. Uh, took a lot longer to finish the floor than I thought it would. Shows you what the hell I know, which is uh, nothing. Um, so, I'll uh, show you what we got now. Besides two dogs. So this is what we got now. Um, it's all done and level. Um, so these are all pressure treated two by sixes. And um, they are all 12 inches on center. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna set up the framing for the two sides. I don't know how far I'm gonna be able to get. It's starting to get darker earlier and earlier these days and I was really busy with work. Um, so these two sides, this one right here, this 10 foot side, and the far 10 foot side are both the same, identical. Um, so I figured it would be pretty easy to just knock those out. Um, and they're also pretty straightforward, really just eight studs, top plate, uh, double top plate, and uh, base plate. So uh, we'll get right to it. Okay, so here's where we're at so far. We have one, two, three walls, almost all the way framed out. This is gonna be the front, and so it's facing that direction towards the gate so the alpacas can get through. These are our big doors. Right now what I'm gonna do Kat and I framed this all up last night. Um, right now, I am going to cut the headers. Or actually, I am going to square this bad boy up first. And then we're going to cut the headers. And then we're going to put the headers in. And then we're going to lift this wall. Okay. So for those of you who don't know, which is probably a lot of you, because I don't know if I really went into this, 
I am a complete amateur. Um, I have built several chicken coops and little things here and there. Um, nothing to this scale. So I've relied a lot on um, my local building department. You know, if I hadn't gotten a permit, I would have built a structure that was much less uh, structural and safe um, than what I have done now. So I would encourage you guys to find somebody in the local building department. If you're doing something like this, check it out. Um, I think you'll actually find that they are, um, for the most part, pretty nice people um, and helpful. And I also, um, the I've seen a lot of YouTube videos. Um, the Crazy Framer on YouTube is so informative, super awesome. Uh, if you're interested in doing stuff like this, I would highly suggest you check him out. Anyway, so what I'm doing right now is, so I have this side all framed up. So this is the side that is facing this direction. Um, and what I wanna do is, so I have these spaces here between the studs and the crips, crip studs, cripple studs, where the header is gonna go to support this whole area. Because what's gonna happen is all the weight from the roof is gonna be coming down on here, and if it's just resting on this two by four, it's gonna be way too much. So we have um, these two by tens here. We're gonna put two of them together for the uh, solid header going across here. So what I wanna do is I want to make sure this is square. And the way you do that is you measure from one corner to the opposing corner on the other end. And then you measure from up here to that one down there. And if those measurements are equal, then you got it squared. If they're not, then you got some work to do. And I wanna do that um, because I'm gonna re-measure these right here because while I did do some pretty extensive plans and you can see them right here. So, you know, I just used Adobe Illustrator because I'm a graphic designer to put these, you know, together. And I did it, you know, it's all math and it's all good. All the math adds up. Um, but you know, I'm an amateur and so when I'm putting stuff together, um, sometimes things don't come out exactly as you plan it. So I just wanna get this all squared up and measure it and make sure I got it correct before I cut all my lumber. All right, so we'll do that now. Okay, so amazingly, first try, that sucker is square. Big thumbs up. So now we're gonna go, uh, we measured in our headers, and they are slightly different, um, which I'm not sure if it's, you know, uh, marking our stud locations or what, but it's not that big of a deal. It's not enough to be concerned about. Um, so right now, Catherine's over there. She's marking where we're gonna cut them. Then we're gonna cut the headers, put them together, put them in there. And then uh, the next step is to add spacers in between all of our studs. And then this wall will be uh, just about done. Okay, so we have built the headers. We got the top plate on. I also installed this. So we have joints here. So 
so you can see there's an eight foot span going that way, 12 foot span going that way to make 20 feet. Um, so we got one of these heavy duty connectors here. And then for our top plate, um, it's very important that you don't overlap the joints. So we have the top plate joint right here. Um, and we go across. And then we put up these braces on the side. So when we stand it up, we can just lean these over and connect them. And then we also have these braces here. Since there's a lot of negative space, we want to make sure that everything stays nice and square and nothing falls apart when we stand it up. So we're going to stand it up now. Just me and my wife, super strong. And uh, wish us luck. Okay, so as you can see, we got the wall and the headers up there. So because of a, a great move by me hammering this here beam in, we got a nice little, we'll call it an air pocket. Drainage. Drainage. Thank you, Catherine. We got some extra drainage in the floor, um, but we got both of our beams up there. We got our big wall up and uh, it looks pretty good. So. Uh, Time to take a break, maybe eat some dog food. Pepper? Pepper? Anyway. Bye!